Welcome to the Girl Scouts of West Central Florida Service Unit Accounting Coordinator Training. You have been appointed by your Service Unit Manager and Community Membership Manager to fill the position of Accounting Coordinator for your Service Unit. We want to thank you for accepting the appointment. If you have not spoken to your Service Unit Manager or Community Membership Manager, please contact them to complete the necessary steps for your appointment to this position. Upon completion of this training, participants will be able to explain the responsibilities of the accounting coordinator position, explain council policies and procedures related to the service unit and troop finances, communicate banking and finance procedures to troop leaders, demonstrate knowledge of Girl Scouts of West Central Florida's best practices, understand the relationship between troops, service units, and council as it relates to finances. The essential functions of the service unit accounting coordinator are to maintain, monitor, and document financial activities for the service unit and troops within the service unit in accordance with volunteer essentials. The accounting coordinator is appointed by and accountable to the community membership manager and is eligible for annual reappointment based on performance. The service unit accounting coordinator is responsible for assisting troop leaders to establish bank accounts and maintain the service unit bank account. Maintaining accurate records of the service unit and troop finances include reviewing statements, and providing financial updates to the rest of the service unit team and troop leaders. The accounting coordinator is also responsible for preparing and submitting the service unit finance report, distribute funds to the service unit members as needed, ensure closure of disbanded troop accounts and dispersal of funds in accordance with volunteer essentials. The accounting coordinator ensures overall financial compliance within the service unit. Relationship between Girl Scouts of West Central Florida, service units, and Girl Scout troops or groups is related to finances. 501c3 status is a federal designation that denotes approval by the Internal Revenue Service as a tax-exempt charitable organization. The council is recognized as a 501c3, but troops and service units are not. Girl Scouts of West Central Florida lends its tax EIN number to the troop accounts so that the bank can verify that the account is authorized affiliate of Girl Scouts of West Central Florida Incorporated. As a 501c3 with over $50,000 in annual revenue, Girl Scouts of West Central Florida is subject to a rigorous audit each year. If we own the troop accounts and spread our tax-free status to those accounts, then we would have to implement the same systems and controls over troop accounts as our other accounts. The administrative expense to the council would be substantial and the financial freedom at the troop level would be effective. Sales tax exemption. In addition to our 501c3 status, Girl Scouts of West Central Florida is registered with the state of Florida as a tax-exempt organization. When people in possession of the tax-exempt documentation use that documentation for their own personal shopping needs, they put the entire organization's tax-exempt status at risk. It is not feasible for our council to monitor every troop and service unit's usage of the tax exemption ID for appropriateness. For that reason, it is not an option for our council. The council banking packet will be provided to the accounting coordinators by the community membership manager at the beginning of each membership year. This packet provides authorization to establish bank accounts under the Girl Scouts of West Central Florida Federal Tax ID. Please note, while Girl Scouts of West Central Florida as a council is tax exempt, individual troops and service units are not. To set up troops bank accounts, please observe the following guidelines. Troop accounts should not be opened until the notification of the leader having completed membership registration and the background check status has been received and marked eligible. 
Accounts must be established in a way that ensures the accounting coordinator has primary access to the account. This may include delivery to a service unit PO box, delivery to accounting coordinator's home, or online banking. Accounts should not be set up with the Girl Scout Leadership Center address. At times, you may need to close a troop or service unit's bank account for various reasons. The service unit accounting coordinator is responsible for closing accounts of disbanded or inactive troops. At any time, you may request a list of active troops from your community membership manager to cross-reference with open accounts. When closing accounts, funds should be dispersed in accordance with policies outlined in Chapter 5 of Volunteer Essentials. Accounts should be closed in a timely manner to avoid unnecessary fees. Please note that any fees acquired prior to account closure will not be reimbursed. As accounting coordinator, it is your responsibility to review all troop and service unit bank statements monthly. Review statement details for anticipated deposits, particularly surrounding product sale dates. You should request the true profit report from the service unit product sales chair at the conclusion of sales. All fall product and cookie program profits should be deposited in accordance with the guidelines of the product program department. As accounting coordinator, you need to work in collaboration with your service unit fall product manager and service unit cookie manager. When reviewing statements, please note that any remittance of funds from Girl Scouts of West Central Florida will be deposited via automated clearinghouse, commonly known as direct deposit. While reviewing statements, check for any irregular activity. If you notice irregular activity, accounting coordinators are encouraged to address the issue directly with the troop leader in question or service unit team if it relates to the service unit account. If this does not resolve the issue, please bring it to the attention of your community membership manager. The accounting coordinator reviews the bank statements monthly. If bank statements are being mailed to a PO box, the accounting coordinator distributes the statements to the troop leaders. When a troop or service unit uses checks, please observe the following guidelines. Compare costs between your bank and an outside vendor and order through the lowest cost vendor. Two signatures are required on all checks. Please note this when ordering the checks. In general, Girl Scouts of West Central Florida does not recommend that troops accept checks as a form of payment. Troops are responsible for the payment fees for non-sufficient funds. The Product Program Department has its own check acceptance procedures. Please review the Product Program resources as they become available. Troops and service units are allowed to use debit cards. Troop debit cards can be used for online registration and for troop expenses. When using debit cards online, please do not link the Troop debit card to online shopping sites, for example, Amazon or eBay, to avoid accidental usage of Troop funds for personal purchases. Online banking is an efficient way to manage accounts. It is permitted as long as accounts are structured in a way that allows the accounting coordinator primary access to the account. Some banks may have limited options for online banking due to the accounts set up with the council ID. As accounting coordinator, the usage of other forms of electronic money transfer, such as Square, PayPal, or Apple Pay, is left to your discretion. Factors to consider when making this decision are, does the system require usage of the council's EIM? Does the system require usage of the troop leader's social security number? Can the system be set up in a way that you as the accounting coordinator have access to the account? Does the system avoid linking to the troop leader's personal accounts? Troops are required to submit a troop budget report at the beginning of the membership year and a troop finance report at the conclusion of the membership year. Finance reports can be submitted either in paper form or via the Volunteer Toolkit Finance tab. 
More information about the Volunteer Toolkit Finance tab is in the next slide. The accounting coordinator may establish a service unit specific deadline for submission of finance reports. The deadline may not be later than June 30th of the current membership year. The accounting coordinator should inform troops of potential consequences of failure to submit finance reports, including, including being unable to participate in product sales programs and or the transfer of troop funds into the service unit account until finance report is submitted. The community membership managers might request an audit if there's irregularities in the account. The Volunteer Toolkit is equipped with a Finances tab. When troop leaders click on that tab, it will lead them to an online finance report where they can enter the expenses and credits of their troop. This is a great tool for keeping track of income and expenses throughout the year and sharing the information with the troop. All they need to do is log into MyGS, select Volunteer Toolkit, click on the Finances tab, and they will see the finance report. There is a separate training about the Finances tab that you can complete online to familiarize yourself with the new tool. Please note that the Finances tab of the Volunteer Toolkit is a resource available for troop leaders and not for service unit accounts. Make sure you read Chapter 5 of Volunteer Essentials, including the different sections where you will find the information about sponsorships, supplemental money earning, and the two distinct processes for Girl Scout high awards and troop projects and activities. All troops should complete a finance report at the end of the year. This report can be completed online through the Volunteer Toolkit under the Finance tab or utilizing the Budget and Finance report. Sponsoring organizations may provide donation of goods and services. The maximum financial support per membership year is $250 for every troop or service unit seeking sponsorships. If a troop or service unit has reached the maximum of $250 for the year, the additional funds over $250 may be counted towards the Family Partnership Campaign. Please note that there may be more than one financial sponsor for a combined total of $250. The process for paperwork related to concession stand fundraisers at professional sports venues is as follows. This type of fundraiser is approved for service unit teams only, not individual troops. The paperwork goes through troop support first for review and approval, and then is submitted to the senior leadership team for signature and attachment of insurance documents. Proceeds from the concession stand fundraisers are deposited into the service unit account. Girl Scout service unit teams must maintain checking accounts to meet the expenses of supporting Girl Scouting in their area. All guidelines that apply to troop checking accounts apply to the service unit checking account as well. The accounting coordinator, service unit manager, or one other member of the service unit team may be signers on the service unit account. All service unit account checks must have two signatures, relatives, spouses, minors, and members of the same household as the primary signer cannot be a second signer on service unit checks. Return check charges will be the responsibility of the signers, not the service unit. A budget should be completed at the beginning of the program year for planning purposes. At the end of the program year, a financial report of actual expenses must be submitted no later than June 30th to the community membership manager and kept on file at the leadership center. The accounting coordinator should report on the financial status of the service unit at each service unit meeting. All financial documents of the service unit must be available for review upon request. Amounts of $1,000 or less may be carried over at the end of the program year unless the service unit team has plans that will benefit girls and make use of the money in the near future. These plans must be clearly outlined in the fin annual finance report. Some examples of appropriate service unit expenses include annual membership registration fees for girls and volunteers who require financial assistance, 
service unit events, encampment and ceremony expenses, financial support to new troops, Girl Scout program supplies, service unit administrative expenses, such as postage, post office box, or copying, adult awards, and certificates. Please refer to Chapter 5 of Volunteer Essentials for complete list of appropriate expenses. Any inappropriate or non-related expenses might include personal expenses for adult volunteers or financial support to girls or volunteers for non-Girl Scout activities. You now have completed the Accounting Coordinator training. Let's review one more time the objectives of this webinar. Explain the responsibilities of the Accounting Coordinator position. Explain council policies and procedures related to the service unit and troop finances. Communicate banking and finance procedures to troop leaders. Demonstrate knowledge of GSWCF's best practices. Understand the relationship between troops, service units, and council as it relates to finances. If you have any questions, please contact your community membership manager or send an email to customerconnections at gswcf.org or call our main line 813-281-4475. We want to make sure you have everything you need to be successful in your role. To receive credit for this training, please complete the evaluation. The link for the evaluation can be found in the video description below. We thank you for volunteering with Girl Scouts.